Get off to a really hot start. Oh, it's so important to get off early to a good start, B.A. You really want to build some momentum early. In some ways, it can really set the tone for the rest of the season. And now the opening lineup for New York. Julius Randle out there with Obi Toppin. Then there's Mitchell Robinson. Then it's R.J. Barrett. And it's the general in a point guard. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. Well, Grant Ivy gets a lot of attention for his scoring, but he can also lock you down at the other end. Oh, yes, he can, B.A. He's big, active, and athletic, too. A strong on-ball defender as well. He'll also jump passing lanes, causing deflections. He looks to flip turnovers into points. Well, the Pistons front office has said they want to have quality character veterans to help balance their roster splitting. What they're doing, B.A., they're building an identity. You need those veteran players to teach the young guys what it takes to be a pro. Here's Cunningham after the basket by New York. May passes to Stewart. Now Cunningham guarded by Barrett and rejected. To the middle. Here's Randall. Count the bucket. Coming off a perfectly placed pass. I wonder if Randall even felt that contact so strong in the upper body. Here's Ivy. Robinson with the block. Here's Stewart. Played it in with a nice touch off the window. You have to take care of the defensive boards better than that. Reason why, lack of focus, lack of communication, which led to second chance points. <laughs> Slams it down with two hands. Man, they're really getting aggressive now. For Detroit, they've gone one for three so far. Bay outside. There's Cunningham with a three. Offensive board. Goes back up. Good work defensively by Robinson. Just one for five. Not the start they were looking for. Obviously, there's still plenty of time to get on track. Five straight buckets to start the game. Off to a hot start. And the first quarter of action, two minutes in. Back to Cunningham. Pass to Ivy. Pascal against Toppin. Here's Cunningham. Five to shoot. Misses the three. And here's Robinson. Robinson. And the tip in on the offensive boards. And why go away from attacking inside if the D has no answer for you? Things just don't seem to be clicking for them offensively. Yeah, they really need to find a way to get back on track. Up top, Stewart. Pass to Bay. Shot that time, not on target. Randall with some nice D. The Knicks with the lead. The general gets the three ball to go. He's got 11. You can't help but look toward their defense. And <laughs> they're totally lost. Two minutes remaining in the first. Here's Ivy. Two minutes. To the wing, right side. Stewart, the pass to Cunningham. Shot to stop the run. And he takes it up and lays it in. Aggressive shot from Cunningham inside. Getting to that point-blank shot. And first quarter, we're about three and a half minutes in. So Smitty, instant replay is here to stay. A big part of the game. How has it impacted the NBA, you think? Well, I think fans and players love that you get it right during crunch time. The one thing I think that can help is the speed up replay. That's what everybody is complaining about. Outside Burks. And here in the first quarter, a little over three and a half minutes play. Here's Ivy. Oh, plenty of contact on that shot. Officials call the foul and he'll take two free throws now. Everyone in the building saw the obvious contact. And he knocks down the first one. Out for the Knicks. What's it going to take to bring them back to the glory days? Oh, that's a loaded question, B.A. But first of all, a superstar would certainly help. They haven't really had one for quite some time. If they can either develop or attract an elite all-star player, that would be a start to turning this New York franchise around and becoming possibly a contender.
And early on, they've been on a tear, just getting whatever they want offensively. They established the pace. They made shots. This is why they're way out in front. Now here's Burks. Tough break for the defense. I mean, he took the hit, but he didn't get the call. The first free throw is good. At the line for your captain. Hits both from the stripe. The Knicks have gone an impressive 8 of 9. Here's the general, and he dunks it down. The offensive game plan is clear. Get it inside and go to work. This is my type of approach. Get some high percentage looks. Then later, you can play inside out. Pure from three-point range. For Kane, consistently knocking down threes, it'll open up the rest of the court. Here's the general. He's watched by Cunningham. There's 25 seconds left to play in the first quarter. They played with fantastic energy from the opening tip. Already ahead by double digits, trying to run away and not look back. Ball stolen. Inside. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. Kate Cunningham. Stewart, he's checked in for Burks. Pascal comes in for Bagley, and it's Bay in for Kate Cunningham. Quarter number two and about a minute in. Oh, they get a hand on it. Fast break, New York. So on the floor for New York. Top it out there with Mitchell Robinson. Then it's R.J. Barrett, and it's the general in at the two spot. <laughs> no debate there. He got hammered. Good on the second one. Here in the second quarter, a little over a minute of play. Here's Ivy. Coming off a solid outing against Oklahoma City. And he's going for the lob! Oh, Robinson with a block. Thanks, guys. Well, the general of their last time out against the Trailblazers was tremendous. He contributed 40 points, and his shot was looking pure from downtown and from the line. He had his handprint all over that game. Put up some big numbers. Guys, back to you. Outstanding, thanks. Impressive ability to carry his team to victory, Grant. Yeah, B.A., I was really impressed. They wouldn't have won the game if it wasn't for his attacking mindset and will to win. And that's what every player has control of, his level of activity. It allows you to impact the game even if the shot isn't falling. <laughs> They're just taking what the defense gives them. And right now, that's the interior. Burks passes to Stewart. Bay outside. Shot clock at six. Off the left rim and out. Coaches loathe empty possessions. You got to be able to hit the easy ones. Oh, there's the alley. And a big finish by Robinson. Oh, great teamwork right there. Hey, you got to love the finish. Bringing it down with some attitude. Bay outside. Here's Ivy. Five points in the game. Oh, Robinson with a block. And that one goes out of bounds. Last touch by Robinson. Duran, he's checked in for Detroit. Kate Cunningham comes in for Burks. And the Knicks making a change here as well. Grimes is checked in. On defense, the Knicks. A 17-point lead, their biggest. Shot clock at five. Here's Cunningham. That one a little long. High percentage look for him. But bottom line, they're not all going to go down. Pass to Rodgers. Here's the general. Now here's Robinson. Here's the general. In the game against Portland, very impressive. And the officials will call the illegal screen here. All this means is he has to be careful. Don't want to pick up a cheapie and get sent to the bench with three fouls. And that's how you defend. Glad we had a chance to see a replay of that block again. Oh, showing no signs of giving up this lead. That block sends shockwaves into the opposition sale. Randall, he's checked in for Toppin. Detroit calls timeout. Well, you ask any team executive, 
they're all looking for the next Giannis. The problem is there aren't many like Giannis. <laughs> that is so true, B.A. Good luck with that, team executives. But reality, look, with the way the NBA game has evolved, positionless basketball is what it's all about. You combine that with size, skill, and talent, that's a dangerous combination, and that's what every team needs. Beautiful effort on that tip in. High activity level is part and parcel of his game. Even though he missed it, this is the exact play your offense is designed to produce. And the Pistons. And so a pretty lopsided game through the first half. For the score, your Pistons, 28, the next 47. Thanks! Dance team. And after a very lopsided first half, we'll see if things play out a little more evenly in the second. Here's Ivy. Cunningham and Bay, the wing pair. Isaiah Stewart out there with Eric Paschal. And it's Ivy in at the point. That's the group for Detroit right now. Here's Bay. Kicks it out to Cunningham. And Mitchell Robinson picks up the foul. Mitchell That's his first foul. First personal foul. First team foul. Robinson against Stewart. Second shot opportunity. Six on the shot clock. From deep three-point range. Randall pulls down the board. Randall's got his fifth rebound in this one. And for Julius Randall... Back in 2014, a nightmare start to his career, Graham. Oh, man, so sad. I mean, Julius breaking his leg just 14 minutes into his NBA debut. A serious injury that required him to miss his entire rookie season. But give Randall credit for coming back and carving out a great career. Gives us a chance to catch up with Allie LaForce. Well, guys, the Pistons focusing on improving their scoring. Coach Dwayne Casey said, quote, this is an offensive league. In today's game, you've got to be able to shoot the three because you can't make enough twos to win. It's tough to defend the three, so you've got to keep that scoreboard moving. Back to you. Floor spacing at a premium, Allie. Thank you. Pass to Bay. Here's Ivy. Five points in the game. Robinson with the block. Shaky start to the half. Going one for four. Still trying to find that groove. Just great work cashing in on the fast break. Great job of reading the floor. Got to the rim and made a play. Bay outside. Here's Ivy. Big time contributor on offense. Just over 22 points a game. Ugly start to this half. Getting just 20% from the field. Gotta pick it up. Two minutes gone in this third quarter now. And since the halftime break, their offense has just been on another level. You know, the coach has had something to say about that. No question, they've settled in and executed brilliantly. May passes to Stewart. Cunningham against Barrett. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. Already during his young career, B.A. Kate Cunningham has flashed the potential of becoming a generational talent with this all-around game. You know, with Cunningham, Smitty, his talent caught the attention of future Hall of Famer Kevin Durant. B.A., after they matched up, Durant said he's somebody who can wreck a whole defensive game plan with his size, talent, and skill. That's game, recognizing game. And the first one at the line is good. And good on the second, so he makes them both. Second half of play here. We're just under two and a half minutes past. New York five. Obi, top four purple. Personal five. Thirteen five. At the line. No good on the free throw. So for the Pistons. Burks, he's checked in for Stewart. And Bagley subbed in for Pascal. And he's good on the second. The Knicks have gone three of three in the second half. Pass to the general. 
Just over two and a half minutes gone by in the second half. Here's Randall. That one is off. Ooh, excellent D there from Burks. Here's Ivy. He has six. Misses from close range. The will is there, but the execution is lacking. He can't seem to finish plays this quarter. He's a living highlight reel. Seriously, that could end up being one of the best dunks of the year. Pass to Ivy. 143 left to play in the third. Looking to get back on track. And a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. Third personal foul. And he drops the first. Burks, he's checked in for the Pistons. At the line for Detroit. That's also good. So he hits both free throws. And there's 138 left in the third quarter. Here's the general. He's watched by Cunningham. Outside Reddish. Pass to Quickly. Back to Reddish. To the paint. Here's the general. Four on the clock. From downtown. They get it back. He started off solid. Had two threes at halftime, but blank from deep sense. Here's Burks. Second chance shot. And scoring inside is Burks. Burks has got his first points in this one. Relentless on the offensive glass. And then you love the finish. The general, no good. The Pistons have gotten just 25% of their shots to fall since the half. Two for eight. Out of bounds, it'll be Nick's ball. All. New York. Duran, he's checked in for Burks. Grimes, he's checked in for New York. Here's quickly. Nine points in the game. Here's the general. And it's blocked right out of the air and controls it. Cunningham outside. And he's going for the oop here. Randall with a steal. Here's the break. And here they go. Eight second difference between the shot clock and game clock. Here's the general. Oh, he finds himself wide open and drills it. Give him 35. And he was dominant in their last outing. And the same thing here tonight. He is in a terrific groove right now. Here's the thing. He's a guy who will go on hot streaks for you over a number of games. Here's Ivy. Over quickly. And so it's New York. A huge 24-point lead for them. Their efficiency has been off the charts. They're the next six. Moments ago from the huddle, let's listen in on Dwayne Casey. All we got to do is move the basketball. The ball... All right, guys, what do you think so far about the offensive approach for the Knicks? I think they've looked to dump it down low as often as possible. And so far, they've been super successful using this attack. Well, another major factor in the offensive performance was the fast break. Converting on those chances when they get them tonight. And so New York takes this one by a big margin. A state... Our next guest is dominating the courts in play now online. In fact, he's in the top 10% of all NBA 2K players, and you might know him as CT Hezzy. Hezzy, welcome to the show. Hey, Chris, how's it going? Thank you so much for having me. 90% win rate on three. And at this point of the season, Greg, many coaches still are maneuvering their lineups, trying to find the right formula. Yeah, especially the younger team. There's no real established pecking order, and guys can be wildly inconsistent from night to night. So a look at our starters for the Knicks. R.J. Barrett is... Look out! Bang! <laughs> oh, wow. mm -hmm. And guys, that's not as easy as he made it look. You've got to have some skills to pull that off. Well, he's got plenty of those, yes. that's for sure. Yes, indeed. Let's just call him ladder climber. Well, if you don't take care of the ball, 
fellas. That's what can happen. Absolutely, Greg. That makes the turnover even more painful. What? You, you mean the throwdown at the end? I'll tell you what, fellas. I mean, the highlight shows are going to pain them even more. And they'll keep possession. And the basket is good. Got it to go through on the contact. So a free throw coming up. Great opportunity for a three-point play. Milwaukee shooting their first free throw of the evening. And I think this is a strength of this team. Solid numbers at the line across the board. 77% collectively. And this year they haven't quite been able to maintain the free throw percentage they had last season. Unlike a lot of perimeter-oriented teams, GA offensively, the Bucks can really play inside out. No doubt. And, and teams pack in the lane against Milwaukee, but Giannis in particular is a terrific passer. And if you leave a shooter open, he tends to find it. Now here is Harris. Really played well against Brooklyn in his last outing. And it's off the back rim. No good. And a fast break now for New York. Here's Randall. A shot missing. And Milwaukee the other way now. A holiday. He has been a nice option for them offensively. And he's averaging more than 17 points a game. Got a hand on it. It's Barrett on the wing, guarded by Holiday. And here in the first, closing in on two minutes play. The general. Good. How about the head of steam he's able to generate right there and just gets to the rack really easy. You really don't want to allow him to get too comfortable, but even with stifling defense, he's going to still find a way to get it in the basket. Now here's Middleton. Some stats for him. He averages over 21 points a game. Five on the clock. Here's Yuck. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. First personal foul. And Giannis's journey, GA, is so incredibly compelling. A full length movie made about his and his brother's path to the NBA. Well, you hear that saying, my life is like a movie. Never truer than for Giannis. It's been an odyssey for the Greek priest. And the foul on Drew Holland. That's second foul number two for him. Second That's his second foul of the first quarter, and they may want to sit him for a while to avoid number three. Kendrick Nunn, he's checked in for Drew Holiday. Uh, and one step ahead of the defense with that solid screen. And then, Greg, the monster dunk to finish it off. Boy, picture-perfect teamwork that time, guys. One guy sacrificing for the other. That's how you succeed in this league. Now here's Middleton over to the left wing. Harris outside. Loads it up for Giannis. Stolen away. Nice job to interrupt the alley-oop attempt there. Here's game face. Ooh. Oh, 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 yeah. Great activity there from Barrett. When he ups his intensity on defense, he's a difference maker. Barrett against Harris. Here's none. He's averaging just around eight and a half points a game. Here's game face, and it's in after a nice bounce off the right side. And that's 12 points for the general. And it just seems that every pass they make is leading to a score. Just great ball moves. Just under three and a half minutes gone here in the first quarter. Back to Harris. It's rebounded by New York. Well, what appeared to be an easy two points just never materialized. Wasted no time on that one. The Generals got 15 points. Defensively, giving up far too many open rhythm looks. And to battle back, they've got to shore up the defense. I mean, there's no other way to come back from a deficit unless you play good defense. And the Bucks decide to take their first time out here. This, their first look at this year's New York squad. And they really took care of business against this group last year, winning the season series. Exactly. Two top teams in the conference. They want to continue that success this season as they look long-term towards playoff season. Here's what Milwaukee's going with right now. Amu Kelishvili is checked in, and it's green in for Antetokounmpo. And the basket is good. Yeah, impressive shot there by Harris. He's in the league to make the hard shots, not just the open. Here's game face. 
And there's the bucket. Stay with it on the offensive glass, getting it done. 17 points in the game. Guys, this has been an incredible performance this quarter. I mean, he's getting the ball where he likes it and wants it and just going to work. None against quickly. And oh, that was close. He draws the foul. He'll shoot two. And Greg, starting your career with the Knicks, what's the pressure like playing in New York City? I tell you, the amount of media following you, the, the size of the city, it can be intimidating. But if you win, man, there's nothing like playing in New York. Here's the general. He's got 17 with the second effort and foul on the shot. So he'll get a chance at the line. Really out of the right play defensively if you can't block force him to the line. Yeah, exactly. Prevent the layup, give him a little bump, and then maybe they'll think twice about coming into the lane next time, and if they don't think about it, at least they might be distracted by your presence. Quickly against none. Passes to Middleton. Takes the 13-footer. And so it's the New York Knicks enjoying a 12-point lead as they talk things over during the break. And we'll see if they can keep up their tremendous shooting. They've been dialed in so far from the field. We'll Ends up going with the new group. On the court for the Knicks. Toppin is out there with Randall. Then there's the general. Then there's Rodgers. And it's Grimes in at the three spot. Connects from three-point range. And obviously his momentum from the last game has carried over here tonight. And you know that's how it goes with him and me. His hot streaks, guys, don't last minutes. They last days. A moment now to hear from our sideline reporter, Hall of Famer, David Aldridge. David. Hey, Kevin. Well, the general in his last time out against Detroit had a huge game. He had 35 points, and he was in the groove all game long from both the free throw line and behind the arc. He put up numbers that really jumped out in the box score. A very solid performance. And Kevin will see what he's got in his arsenal tonight. Thanks, David. Yeah, it was a special night for him. The team really fed off his energy. Yeah, the catalyst for that win, it, it was an effort that I'm sure he's hoping to replicate tonight. Yeah, you know, all indications are that he feels good coming into this. He feels confident that he can build on that prior success. None bounce back. Here's Giannis. A shake. And it's good on the way in. Adetokounmpo's got seven points. You know, inside Giannis's length really helps him get by the defense. Not much they can do to trip him up or slow him down. He's a force. The general. Good. Well, he's cooking with grease. He's got things flaming up, looking for an opportunity every time down the floor when he's that hot. And Holiday gets to Middleton. Lopez left side. With a floater, none can't get it to fall. New York leading by nine. And he lobs it up toward the rim. And Toppin throws it down. Oh, and the lead gets bigger on a ridiculous offensive sequence. That dunk alone would have been spectacular. Never mind it coming at the end of an alley-oop. Well, I tell you what, they've got this team just a step away from being completely sleep. There's a four-second difference from the shot clock to the game clock. Six on the shot clock. Here's Middleton, and it's blocked, and they recover it. A shot by Holiday, no good. Boy, he knows he should have knocked that one down, especially with the defense That's not giving. And so it's New York holding on to an 11 point. 22, the next 33. And after a very lopsided first half, we'll see if things play out a little more evenly here in the second. And you know the general has been really making it happen, guys. No problems fighting his way to the rim in this one. A lot of points in close. Yeah, you know what, guys? They gave him too many free runs to the hoop in the first half. I think they've got to be a lot tougher on him. Body him up. Be physical with him. 
Giannis and Lopez hold down the post for him. Gary Harris is out there with Holiday, and it's Middleton in at the three spot. They're the group for Mike Budenholzer starting the second half. Greg, we know from time to time things get pretty chippy out there. What kind of things would get under your skin when you played in the NBA? Oh, you know, guys tended to talk a little trash, and that could rattle you, right? That could bother you at times. But you really just tried to maintain your focus and keeping your eye on the prize. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the five. The next shooting their fifth and sixth free throws of the game. He misses the free throw five. And the second free throw, good. Mark, if you take a look at the superstars on this Bucks team, they are extremely selfless. Yeah, they really are. That's one of their great attributes. They just want to win. The pieces fit well together. Doesn't matter how they do it, who does it. They're all in it to win championships. A total team mindset. Lopez against Robinson. Outside Holiday. And it's out of bounds. The Bucks able to retain possession here. And now the latest from our reporter, David Aldridge. Thanks very much, guys. Growing up, Mitchell Robinson didn't play basketball. But a seven-inch growth spurt in the eighth grade changed things. He fell to the 36th pick overall in 2018, but his physical tools have made him a presence. One key to his success, he says, just run the floor. If you're the first man down the court, you can get the ball. Kevin, that sounds pretty simple to me. It does to me, too. Keep it simple and use that athleticism. David, thanks. Joe Harris has checked in for Milwaukee. And Greg, in the era of positionless basketball, Mitchell Robinson is an old-school center, isn't he? Yeah, I mean, during his first four years in the league, Robinson didn't attempt a single three. That has led the league in shooting percentage, so Mitchell knows his role. Here's Middleton. That one wide left. And Randall has got the ball here for the Knicks. They've held a 12-point lead early. Here's game face. Fouled on the shot and picks up two points. So one free throw coming up. Second personal. And he has just been in a flow offensively. Terrific game. He has been the X Factor. And you will quickly. He's checked in for Julius Randall. Now a timeout called Started. by Milwaukee. As the teams head into this timeout, a chance for the coaches now to map out some plays for the next few minutes and a chance for the players to rehydrate with some Gatorade. That's important if they want to make sure they don't wear down later in the game. Absolutely. Over the course of a game, you have to stay hydrated. Middleton outside. Back to Harris. There's the triple. Milwaukee, no good that time either. The Knicks leading by 12. Here's game face. Cranes it from beyond the arc. The Generals got nine points here in the second half. They found a nice groove in this half, starting out three for four. Middleton outside. Pass to Mamou Kalashvili. Back to Middleton. Offensive struggles continue, missing again. And stolen by Harris. And the layup's good off the glass. Harris has got his third basket of the night right there. How about the court vision of Middleton? Just so good at finding the open man. Some nice passing by New York here. Two minutes. Here's the general. He has 35. On the wing quickly. There's the pass to the general. Shot clock at six. Here's the three. And the Knicks hit again from deep. Three-point shooting since the half has been about as good as you could ask for. And now's the time for them to step on the gas pedal. Don't let up. Keep letting it fly from deep and build that lead. Play through the finish line, not to it. Keep the pressure on. Here's Harris. Robinson pulls it in. Robinson's got six rebounds in the game. Pass to Quickly. Here's the general, guarded by Harris. Going to foul on Joe Harris. And that'll be his third foul so far. 
And, and really, these are some of the toughest calls an official has to make. Yeah, but in this case, I think you got it right. The defender was still moving there and never really had good legal guarding position. He wasn't set. Milwaukee making a switch here. Olenek's checked in. Radish, he's checked in for New York. Jalen Brunson comes in for R.J. Barrett. Harris outside. And the call on the shot sends him to the line. Second personal. It's on Mitchell Robinson. You know, Harris is such an aggressive hunter of his shots. Puts a lot of pressure on the defense, and sometimes they get over aggressive with it. Antetokounmpo's checked in for Milwaukee. Holiday comes in for Chris Middleton. Toppin, he's checked in for the Knicks. Here's game face. A shot's good on the assist by Brunson. Jalen Brunson. 43 points for the general. An even stronger second half. Tremendous efficiency at the offensive end of the floor. Yeah, they're in a nice zone right now, and that basket looks, you know, it can handle two balls at once. It looks like now it can probably, for them, handle three or four balls at once as well as they're shooting. About seven seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Here's game face. Hits the layup after the sweet pump fake to freeze the D. The Generals got 45 points. Bucks trail by 20. Giannis kicks to Harris. Harris outside. Outside Holiday. The way up missed. That's a surprise. I mean, really out of character for him to miss when the defense is not right up on it. And so it's New York closing out the quarter with a 20-point lead. From the field, they have been outstanding. Amazing shooting net. Keep running. Keep getting stuck. And there have been two very different performances from these teams today as we get going in quarter number four. And on the floor for New York here in the fourth. The pairing up front, Toppin and Randall. Jalen Brunson out there with the general, and it's Barrett at the three, the small phone. Well, Greg, we're seeing high schoolers now making six figures to play basketball. I bet you wouldn't have minded that in your time, would you? Uh, I tell you what, it beats delivering the newspaper, right? <laughs> it's still fresh and developing, but a lot of different opportunities are emerging. Outside Holiday passes it to Middleton. Kicks to Harris. Pass to Holiday. Four on the clock. Here's Harris. He trains it as the shot clock ticks down. Harris, a decent ball handler, continues to work at improving that part of his game. Here's game face. A shot's good on the assist by Brunson. 49 points for the general. The, the defense has just been unable to slow him down. Wow, what a game. Ghana's with it. Toppin's there. Headed to Kumbo. And they call the foul, so a chance at the line for one more coming up. Substitution on the court. And over two and a half minutes in the books here in the fourth. Now here's Middleton. He's guarded closer. A second chance effort. And he sinks the layup. Oh, I tell you what, Middleton getting his hands dirty inside on the glass. We know he can shoot it from outside. But inside points are bonus. Two minutes remaining in the game. Two minutes. Here's game face. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. Third personal foul. The leadership of the NBA Players Association, Greg, has said they support expansion. And two cities, which seem to be the leading candidates, Seattle and Las Vegas. What do you think? Well, I love both. Had the good fortune of playing in both cities. And I'd love to see a team in my hometown. But... Bottom line, more teams means more jobs. And that's the sentiment I think most can get behind. There are nights that Antetokounmpo can reach a level few have in NBA history. The MVP feeling it tonight. Down low. Here's Toppin. Uses the glass to finish the layup. And the Knicks lead by 20. Big miscommunication 
on defense. He recognizes it and quickly takes advantage. Boy, the defense looks shell-shocked. I mean, they're on the ropes right now, on their heels. In the corner, it's Harris. Fires from 14. It's rebounded by New York. Randall's got his fifth rebound right now in the game. Yes, and, and, and with this one winding down, it's obvious to everyone who watched Roger. it. Just a total mismatch and a true show. A strength for the Knicks. And this was one that never really was in doubt, but an all-around dominant performance. And you kind of thought that maybe even going into the game. Yeah, there was a sense of that. And, and man, they, they just pretty much blew them right out of the water. A clinic was put on display. You shot a great percentage tonight after some struggles earlier this season. What did you notice tonight with your shooting? I mean, coach said those shots are there for me. I know I'm a great shooter, and those open looks are there. You know, I just have to get in rhythm. And going forward, you know, once I find my rhythm, you know, we could definitely build on that. Do you consider yourself one of the better shooters on this team? Oh, no doubt, man. I mean... Granted, we got a lot of good shooters on this team. And I'm not saying I'm the best, though I do shoot at a high clip. You know, but night in and night out, I'm very efficient. And I see myself as a leader in that area. So, yeah. You definitely look like it tonight. Thank you for your time. Phoenix Suns. And, of course, OGs know that online head-to-head -head was really where the competitive space started. So what do you like specifically about competing in online head-to-head -head with these different various teams? It's just fun um, when I get to compete, you know, against another live person, obviously. And I like the ma main reason I've always played, you know, head -to -head. Hey, a lot of action around the NBA on Thanksgiving Eve. A great lead-in to a big weekend of basketball. And B.A., we have so much to be thankful for. And, of course, this is when the season starts for real. We've got a few weeks behind us. Guys have their legs under them. Now we start to see who the top dogs really are. Now Washington's starting five. Morris and Beal are the backcourt pair. Avdia and Kuzma, they make up the forwards. And it's Gafford in at the five down low. Avdia, good. And that's just nasty right there, guys. He has a tremendous crossover. Here's the general, guarded by Morris. New York foul. First personal foul. Here's Morris. Playing Phoenix, he was nearly unstoppable. He's sure drawing those whistles. A couple of quick ones here. And the Knicks making a change here. Quickly's checked in. Coming on to the floor. Substitution on the court. Julius Rando at the line. What's up? One shot. And the free throw, no good. It seems to me Julius Randle improves every season, and the more responsibility he's given, it seems the better he performs. So as we end the first quarter, already a double-digit ball game. It's the Knicks. They're up by 10. The Wizards. 21. And a big round of applause. For your we welcome you back to second quarter action. Plenty of basketball left to play. This one has been one-sided so far. And a moment to look at the scoring approach in terms of where the points are coming from for New York. They're working themselves to the line, using great fakes and getting into the body of the shot block. Yeah, and their assertiveness in the paint so far tonight has been impactful. They're really making it hard for the interior defense. And for Washington, they've got Kispert, Avdia out there with Miles Bridges. Then it's Daniel Gafford, and the Wizards shooting only 39% so far in the game. How about this, Doris? The Wizards haven't been to the conference finals since 1979. Unreal. That's exactly right, PA, and it gives you some sense of how tough it is to be successful in the NBA. Because it's not that long ago that their backcourt consisted of John Wall and Bradley Beal. 
many at the time considered it one of the most dangerous in the league and thought they would be here for over a decade. It does show you how hard sustained success is in the NBA. Thanks, guys. Well, the general of their last time out against the Bucks was a man on a mission. He scored 53 points and was on point from deep. His stat line was unreal. Impossible to repeat? I don't know. Coming up with that performance, you tell me. Guys. Okay, Ali, thanks. Well, that was an incredible night for him. They rode him to that win. And yeah, he was more than happy to carry them, B.A. He might still be feeding off that performance heading into this one. Well, there's no doubt. He certainly looked like he was enjoying himself in that last game. He had his offense flowing. For New York, they've got two of three shots to go in the second. the left side wing. Pass to Rogers. Here's the general. Had a career game his last time out. Bucket after bucket. Denny Abdia. First personal foul. First team foul. At the line, two shots. First free throw is good. Well, Grant, the NBA has led the way when it comes to diversity and representation in the high-level jobs. Grant, what are your thoughts on it? Yeah, B.A., I love this. I mean, the NBA really, truly has been a leader when it comes to this. Whether it's coaches, front office, in the, the league office in New York, living and embodying the spirit of diversity and inclusion is what the NBA is all about. It's fun to be a part of. The NBA, where everyone is welcome. Neil, shot is off. You have to credit their effort. I mean, they've done an amazing job on the glass. And the dunk to finish it off. Oh, beauty. A savage reverse jam. That takes great body control. No question. He was making a statement right there, man. Second quarter play. Almost three minutes gone here. And that one's good. Well, this is how Bradley Beal just makes it impossible to guard him. Three-level scorer. This time he goes to the inside game. Here's the general. Oh, a clear foul there on the missed shot. So he'll get a pair at the line. I don't mind that. I mean, they met him at the rim and temporarily prevented the point. And he makes a first. He does a great job of drawing contact and getting himself to the line, something he didn't do in the first period. That one falls, so he hits both of them. Yeah, just knocking down every free throw. I mean, I love to see this kind of efficiency. They've been having major problems offensively. Definitely in a bit of a dry spell. Two minutes remaining in the first half. Two minutes. Beal right side from 10 feet away. And he hits the jumper. Beal. Beal's got eight. Well, offensively, this guy has been cooking. They're definitely not losing because of him. Boy, when you consider that Bradley Beal entered the NBA as one of the sweetest shooting guards in the league, but over the course of his career, he's added elite playmaking, and he's as dangerous and complete an offensive force as there is in the game. Optia, good. What a pass by Bradley Beal. This guy is an elite scorer, but don't forget about his passing skills. The Knicks have gone three of five since the beginning of the second. Pass to Barrett. Here's the general. Back to Barrett. Here's the general. Give him eight points now. Four on the clock. And again, the Knicks missing. And about Beal, such an integral part of the makeup of this team. He's been consistently committed to the organization. He's elite offensively and can flat lift a team by his individual offensive skill. And because of what he has in terms of physical attributes, his coaches believe he can be elite defensively as well. Brunson has checked in for New York. Bamba's checked in for Washington. Isaac comes in for Avdia. Both free throws good from Morris. There's 48 seconds left in the first half. Pass to the general. Right side, Robinson. Here's the general, covered by Bamba. Now here's Barrett. Outside Brunson. It's stolen by Isaac. And the Wizards on the break. Here's Beal. And then Beal with the dunk. That's from you know what? You cannot afford Jonathan to be careless Isaac. with the basketball around Jonathan Isaac. Those long arms to get into the passing lane. Woo-hoo! 
the general. Pounded by Beal. Here's the general. Oh, no good again that time. And here's Isaac. Beal, right side. One second left. And so that brings the first half to a close. With a score. The Knicks. 41. The Wizards. 31. And we played through the first half. Plenty of basketball left in this one. Hey, it's been quite a game for Bradley Beal. I love how effortlessly he scored. The game just comes so easy for him. Now let's see if he continues that trend the rest of the way. He certainly has the talent and the endurance to do just that. We've got Julius Randle. Obi Toppin out there with Mitchell Robinson. Then there's Jalen Brunson. And it's the general in at the two. That's the five for New York right now. And Washington shooting only 42%. Pass to Avdia. Now Beal. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting. So he'll take two free throws. It's going to go on Mitchell Robinson. I like the mentality by Beal. Takes it inside, mixes it up a little bit. Nice. Quickly is checked in for Brunson. You know, with all the dunkers out there, some players make sure they don't end up on too many posters. Grant, you ever uh, make a business decision? Yeah, yeah, you know, I made a few business decisions through my career. Look, as a competitor, you want to make sure that you can play defense, give it your all, contest at the rim when you feel that you can. But when someone like a Vince Carter in the midst of insanity, that's when you make a business decision. And that's a smart decision. And let's send it over to Allie LaForce. Thanks, VA. Bradley Beal played for Coach Greg Popovich with the U.S. national team. And Pop said, quote, he's hard to keep up with. His balance and movement are very impressive. He stops on a dime, can pull up and shoot. That, along with his excellent footwork, are the most impressive things for me. Brian? Yeah, great breakdown there, Allie. Thank you. And you have to think that they're leading this game because of how they've controlled oh! Making plays at both ends of the floor. And it shows up in the box score. Well, what I love is the energy they're bringing right now. They're ignoring the scoreboard and playing hard. Can't connect from 14. Well, they have the advantage, but you still feel like this guy needs to find a way to get himself going. And the shot goes in. That's about pre-shot preparation. The anticipation of the pass. Kuzma, easy work. Now a timeout called by New York. And something fans don't always get to see. Some of the closely guarded secrets that happen in that huddle. It's tough to hide your communications. Teams go to great lengths to try to do it, but sometimes to no avail. The Knicks making a switch here. Reddish is checked in. Miles Bridges checked in for Washington. Kispert comes in for Bradley Beal, the general. The rebound by the Wizards. Well, you think about Daniel Gafford being picked in the second round back in 2019. But guys, in 2021, that young man started to find his stride. Morris passes to Gafford. Optia from outside. Randall pulls down the board. Randall's got rebound number seven tonight. Boy, as slow a start as you could have. Just one for four from the field. They're struggling. Here's the general. Oh, and makes it with the kiss. He's got 16. And with Gafford Doris, he earned a three-year, $40 million deal. He did, B.A., and it had everything to do with what he showed as a starting caliber center in the league. His rebounding, his rim protection, and his value as a vertical threat at the cup, all very worthy of that contract. Oh, the shot no good by Kispert. And you just can't afford to give up that kind of look very often. Clutches and throws it down. He's shaking the hoop. He's actually shaking the whole building. Oh, what a slam. Look here. The fans going crazy right now. Here's Avdia. Five points in the game. Oh, the teardrop falls in. Avdia's got his third basket on the night right there. Well, that's a nice play. You've got to read the situation and go to your floater game when necessary. To the wing on the left. Pass to the general. Again, the Knicks. Good for two more. 
sizzling for Mobile to have, and that's after a shaky start. Now a timeout called by Washington. For the Knicks, R.J. Barrett comes in for Reddish, and it's Jalen Brunson in for quickly. The Wizards making a switch here. Bridges outside. Brunson against Morris. It's Bridges on the wing. Out to the right wing. The three from Bamba. Gets the three to fall. Bamba's got his second bucket on the night. Wow, the kind of touch Mo Bamba has at seven feet to make the three ball really, really big time. Here's the general. Ooh, and he took a hard foul on the shot. So he'll head to the line to shoot a pair. It's going to be on Bradley Beal. The first one falls. At the line, two shots. And so he makes both from the line. If they keep hitting free throws at this clip, it'll help them seal the deal. Washington's gone one of four here in the third from range. It's tipped. How about the timing? The rejection by Julius Randle. Read that one beautifully. Mitchell Robinson, he's checked in for New York. And the Wizards making a change here as well. Kuzma's checked in. Brunson passes to Randle. Out to the right wing. Here's the general. Hounded by Beal. Here's the general. Bradley Beal with a rebound. For Washington, they've gotten just three of eight shots to go in the third quarter. For three, Bridges. That one falls. Coming off Beal's feed. Beal's got three assists tonight. Their defense has to do a better job of smothering those shooters. The kick out to Brunson. Nine seconds separating the shot clock and game clock. Here's the general. Hounded by Beal. Just five to shoot. Outside Robinson. Pass to Brunson. New York needs to get one up quick. The timer ticks. The general, no good. And this is a shot he can definitely make, and the defense not a factor at all. And he jams it home with authority. That'll be a move to remember. Wow. Yeah, great creativity in the air. And so it's New York with an impressive 16-point lead heading into the break. How about the way they've attacked the paint? This throwback approach is paying off. We'll be right back with you shortly. And while we have a chance, let's go to our State Farm assist of the game. And I'll tell you what, this was a no-brainer tonight. Take a look at the precision on this feed. Couldn't place it any better. And when you're the beneficiary of a pass that good, you better deliver. And he did just that. Well, there may not be a lot of drama down the stretch as we head into the fourth quarter. But stranger things have happened. On the court for Washington. Avdia and Kuzma, they make up the forwards. Morris and Beal are the backcourt pair. And it's Gafford. Oh, hey! How about that? And staring at a sizable deficit, the defense has to tighten up. Well, the Wizards shooting 41% in this game. Beal outside. Back to Morris. Pass to Avdia. Down to five on the shot clock. Back to Morris. From deep. Nails it from three. Man, they're having a hard time defending the triple. That's three in a row. Well, the Knicks shooting about 56% in this one. Here's the general. Down low. And he converts the layup. And the Knicks lead by 17. And their offensive game plan is clear. Get it inside. And go to 46. Morris against Brunson. Morris outside. And Mitchell Robinson picks up the foul. Mitchell Robinson. That's his third. third foul of the game. First team foul. Now into the lineup for your New York Knicks. Roger. First minute and a half of basketball played here in the fourth. Here's Optia. Six to shoot. Over Barrett. Offensive rebound. 
And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. And taking a quick look here at the hustle stats for the Knicks. Daniel, their defensive intensity has served them well. It kept the offense scrambling and resulted in several steals. And they've also been scoring on the break with how difficult it is to get buckets in the half court. Anytime you can push the ball in transition for easy ones, that's big time. Second personal foul. First team foul. At the line, two shots. He misses the free throw. He hits the second from the line. For Washington, they've gotten just one shot to fall out of three attempts in the fourth. Kuzma down low. He's against Toppin, and so he draws the foul, heading to the line to shoot a pair. You have to be aware of your defender, where Kyle Kuzma is. This guy is a scorer by nature. At the line. Two shots. And he sinks the second. They are blowing this one open. Maybe the only question is how big will this lead grow? Pass to the general. Rebound Washington. Beal's got four rebounds now. Knicks foul. Third person foul. Fourth team foul. Just under two and a half minutes gone by now in the Wizards final quarter. Timeout. Now a timeout called by Washington. Protecting the rim has to be their top objective right now. And the question they're going to have to answer to me is, is it a problem with the scheme or is it a problem with the matchups? And we'll send one your way. And once again, let's give it to your next city dancer. Let me hear you once again. Gafford passes to Kuzma. And Beal with the basket on the assist from Kuzma. One of the most consistent scorers in the NBA right now. Bradley Beal doing work. Now a timeout called by New York. Yeah, Coach no doubt wants to use this timeout to review the matchups and maybe make some adjustments as well. And the guys get a little bit of a break. Mentally, physically, just recharge here quickly. Randall, he's checked in for Barrett. To your Knicks City Dancer. The Knicks have gone two of three to open the fourth quarter. Here's the general, hounded by Beal. Here's the general, banked it in off the glass. And that's 29 for him. And his fantastic performance from the last game has carried over to tonight. Now, I think that's the one thing every player is searching for. Consistency. They're giving this guy a chance to carry the offense once again. Already, they're over the limit. And it's so early. This could turn into a load of free throws. And that's how you defend. He wasn't showing any mercy with that swap. Oh, amazing indeed. And getting stops like that only encourages him to keep attacking on the offensive end. But we know about Bradley Beal, guys, one of the best scorers in the game. To me, in rounding out his playmaking and the setup ability of his teammates has changed who he is. The Wizards making a switch here. Bridges is checked in. And they just continue to attack, even late in the game while they're up big and as a result they may be facing just a little bit less resistance right now they are having their way Morris outside it's Avdia on the wing just five on the clock out of bounds it'll be New York's ball the Knicks have gotten four or five attempts to fall so far in the fourth Here's the general, pounded by Beal. To the right side. Here's the general, driving. Oh, oh. okay then. Yeah, this one hasn't been in doubt for a bit now. They came out on a mission, and you can bag up this win for the Knicks. Hey, if you get yourself to the line and cash in on those opportunities, you paint your opponent into a corner. Yeah, they were so successful with that all night. Aggressive, fearless, whatever you want to call it, they really pushed the action and got rewarded. 
And this will get marked down as their 16th win of the year. This is just a great matchup for them. And they're looking for the four-game season sweep in their next meeting. And even the opposing fans can't deny this was a sensational game for the general. Efficient productivity. You love what this guy has given to you on the offensive end. So Washington ends up going with a new group. There's 48 seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one. The shot misses. Oh, they pick off the pass. Here's Webb. Fires in the triple. Here in the second half, they're really focused on stretching the floor. And guys, boy, when you're hitting, it sure does work. It obviously opens up major options at the offensive end. Here's the general. Clock at six. Beyond the arc. And the Knicks miss again. Here's Webb. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. First person. Man, he made sure to get his money's worth on that foul. First one falls for him. Webb. Both shots good from the strike. Here's the general. No good. And so it's the Knicks taking care of business in this one. A clean win, and one where they clearly showed better energy. Yes, yeah, so true. They put on a show here at home. And I really think they had that extra swagger and confidence, too. And that'll wrap it up, folks. For Doris Burke, Allie LaForce, and Grant Hill, and our entire crew, this is Brian Anderson thanking you for tuning